Unless deer are being driven by dogs, we know that to hunt deer, we need to be in between bedding and food source. It's no secret that private landowners love to attract deer by planting food plots or putting out corn. Well, we can't do that on public land. The first strategy is to find some private land adjacent to public hunting lands that are attracting deer. Another good place to look is for soybeans that have yet to be harvested. This soybean field don't look like much, but the deer are hitting it hard. Next, all we need to do is find some bedding areas that the deer are using on adjacent public land or are crossing the public land to get to the food source. Now, all we have to do is hunt in between the bedding and the food source. I like to call it cutting them off at the pass. Now, I'm going to give y'all some tips that most people may not know about. Other states may have this feature as we have in Arkansas. The Arkansas Game and Fish Commission provided us with some mapping that we can use in the comfort of our own homes to provide us a good starting point for scouting areas. Type in agfc.com in the web address of your internet browser and press enter. Under the hunting drop down menu, select view maps. Scroll down a short ways and click on AGFC interactive maps. If you don't see this, make sure your browser is maximized. Next, click on the imagery in the lower left corner Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out in the map. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag the map around the pan. Here's a view of Bayou Mito, aka Bayou Metro. Notice the boundaries are green. Now for a tip that most people may not know. Federal hunting lands are not shown with boundaries in the map, but here's how we can find them. At the top right, select the two squares that look like the stack on top of one another. Next, click on Layers, scroll all the way down to the bottom and check Parcel Boundaries. Click anywhere in the mapping to exit the menu. Now if we zoom in close enough, all parcel boundaries in the state of Arkansas can be seen. Federal lands will show up as USA or United States of America. Here's one example of a food plot with a feeder on private land that is adjacent to public hunting lands. Most importantly, respect private landowners by not trespassing on their land. In Arkansas, the minimum distance for firearms hunting is 150 yards and archery is 50 yards unless you have permission. Now for the hunting video. I hope you all enjoy this video and I wish you all the best of luck in the woods this year and God bless. It's legal shooting time in the Cache River Refuge in Arkansas. Opening day of Modern Gun, November the 11th, No, I knew she was gonna blow on me. I shot, I missed. Big time. Yeah, well. I hear some more blowing back down this way. So maybe we got a few more hunters in the woods making them move around some, I'm hoping.
camera or not, but that was a pretty decent bug. Looked like a six point, but big body on it. I did hit it. He ran off with his tail down, but I'm just hoping I got a good shot on it. It was kind of off balance shot, so. I'm gonna give it a good hour before I even go, so. It is 7-11 right now. About 8 o'clock, I'm gonna look for it. I just reviewed my footage. I seen the buck on there, but I saw it walked out of camera range when I shot, so I was hoping to be able to see something there. But <laughs> I'm just not very good at filming these things. up some blood. Well, that's promising. I hope that wasn't him that just jumped up. But I definitely see quite a bit of blood now. There he is, I see him. I think. Maybe 
heavy blood right here. Oh man, it ain't pretty. It ain't pretty. Man, looks like I hit low on the chest cavity. Definitely nothing, nothing to brag about, but man, he's, he's got a big old body on him. <laughs>